Welcome to Wendy's Creative Space. In today's video, we are doing a back to school hair bow tutorial. I am back with another bow. I hope you're excited. If you wanna know how I created this beautiful bow, then please don't forget to subscribe and give my video a thumbs up. And let's get started. All right, here is the dress my daughter will be wearing on the first day of school. And we are making this bow specifically to match this dress. Here are the stickers that I'm going to be using as well as some ribbon and some um, hair clips to make this bow. The first ribbon is one and a half inches wide. The next one is 1.3 inches wide. It's so pretty and colorful. The next one is this black glittery one and it's seven eighths inches wide and the last one is five eighths inches wide and it's this sparkly pink bow the next one is 2.5 inches and it's like a velvety uh, wire ribbon i am starting by grabbing my one and a half inch ribbon is this shiny see-through wire ribbon i love this ribbon it's so shiny and pretty and I'm going to start by figuring out how long these pieces need to be. All right, this ribbon is going to be cut into 14 inches long strips. I originally cut three, but I only used two. So I am going to cut these pieces and have them ready for the next step. Okay, I'm gonna start by grabbing one of the pieces and I'm going to fold it in half and make a little crease right there, just like that. And then I am going to put some glue in that crease that I created, just like that. And then I'm gonna bring my two ends in and glue them into that middle. Okay, now I'm going to fold it in half and then bring the two ends down. And now I'm going to be adding some hot glue to glue this bow together. As you can see, this is very see-through and I thought that it was gonna be fine like that, but I did end up adding a little bit more glue in there just to make sure that it was gonna stay in place. And I'm going to be doing the same thing to the other strip. Okay, so now it's time to put these pieces together. Ignore the third piece because I did not end up using it. So we're gonna glue the two pieces together, putting some hot glue and then putting both of these pieces together. And I'm going to pinch them together for a little bit to make sure that they are secure and glued together. Okay, now is the time to use this stripey ribbon. It's so pretty. It has colorful sequins through it. Small little lines that remind me of crayons, which is why I picked it up because I had the idea to make it into a pencil uh, bow. I've never made one and I'm so excited for this. But anyway, so I'm grabbing this piece of ribbon and I am making it into a small bow. And I am literally making two loops. As you can see, I made a um, crisscross on the back just like that and now to make sure that this stays in place because I'm going to be sewing this together to make sure it gives me the shape I want to I'm grabbing this little metal clip um, it's a hair clip and I am putting it right in the middle and now is the time to grab my needle and thread and all I'm going to be doing is a running stitch right through the middle to make sure it stays in place and also to be able to uh, make it into like little ruffles you We'll see what I mean in a second, but that's all I'm gonna be doing right now. Okay, now that I made it all the way through to the other side, I am pulling my thread and pulling on it to create those tiny ruffles and I'm making it really tight. I am pulling on my thread just like that and now I'm going to loop it around to make sure that it's going to keep its shape and that it's not gonna go anywhere. 
and once I create a couple of loops around it, I will be securing it in the back, making a couple of knots to make sure it's not gonna go anywhere. So all I'm doing right now is just pulling on it as hard as I can, but not as too hard because the thread will break. And now I am going to be making the knots, as you can see. And that's all I'm gonna be doing for this part of the bow. Okay, now I'm cutting the remainder of the thread and trimming down my ends of this little bow. And I am also going to grab this lighter and I am going to burn the ends to make sure that they don't come undone. All right, now is the time to grab the 7 8 inch uh, black ribbon and I am going to be using to make the part of the pencil and I am going to cut two small pieces because I didn't have a ribbon thick enough to cover that part but I am going to use this and it ends up looking great anyway uh, so I'm growing my two pieces and I'm now grabbing my pink ribbon which is 5 8 inch wide and I'm cutting one small piece because that is going to be the eraser part of the pencil and now I am going to grab my two and a half inch uh, ribbon and I am going to make it into a small simple bow it's super simple it's going to be just like the one we created at the beginning of the tutorial so I'm gonna let the video roll So I forgot to turn on my glue gun so it was cold so while I wait on that I am burning the edges of these ribbons to make sure that they don't come undone so I am grabbing each one and burning the ends. To buy a little bit more time I am trimming a little piece off the sequin ribbon to uh, go in the middle. <laughs>
and look at that. It's so pretty. I love it. It is the time to put these three bows together to make it into a one pretty bow. Yes. All right, so I'm gonna glue them together in this order and I am just going to be using hot glue to glue them all together into place. So let's get going. I am grabbing my little strip and keeping it by my side because that is going to be next. I am gluing down my third bow and then this little strip comes into place. Okay, so after I put down my little strip, I haven't glued it yet. I am going to grab my little metal clip and I'm going to glue that down first because the little strip is gonna run through that and it needs to be glued so it doesn't move around. So I am putting some glue on it and then gluing it into place just like that. Alrighty, now it is the time we clip down the little strip on one side and it is a little bit too long so before I glue it I am going to trim that down and then I will be adding some hot glue and gluing it into place. Ready. now it is the time to glue down the second end of this strip and I am going to clip that as well just like that running the little uh, strip through the clip just like that and then after that I'm going to tug on it to make sure that everything is tight together and make sure that this is not going to be a loose wobbly bow now I'm trimming this down because it was a little bit bigger too and I am burning the end just like I did before on the other end, on the other pieces and now I am adding the glue and gluing that into place just like that and we are almost done with this bow now I'm adjusting this before we put the last touch on this bow And for the last step, I am grabbing these stickers and I am using this pretty red apple and I'm going to grab this and stick it to the middle of the bow. I did not put glue on it, but if you do use stickers, I would suggest you put on there because it did um, came off by the end of the day. And this is looking great. And this is my back to school bow. I love how this turned out. I hope you did as well. And if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Here is a picture of my beautiful baby on her first day of school. I hope you come back. I will see you on the next DIY. Bye.